Hey travelers, a little different view this this week. Ah. It's hotter than crap out though, I tell you, and the and the wind hasn't really helped all that much. But hey, for his wind, imagine imagine how hot it would be without the wind. I well, it wasn't windy earlier today, and so I can't imagine. It's uh, not delightful. It's not great for a uh, for a fat guy from the Midwest. It's almost intolerable. Almost intolerable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Um, we didn't exactly pick the best beers for this week. We didn't pick bad ones. You though. might think that they're hilarious, but well, we went with odd beers. We went with odd beers for an odd, unseasonably hot day. Yeah. So Dog spicy. Days of August. Spicy beers. Spicy or or at least spicy in the name, hot, spicy, and then one secret beer that Troy has not uh, clued me in on yet. Well, it's it's kind of like both of these beers are kind of adjuncts. I kind of went with more of the adjunct, adding things to you know spice flavoring. Yeah, and you're gonna hate it. So That's, I'm really excited. I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm I'm just as excited as you are. <laughs> so sh- shall we open a beer? Yeah. So I, I I wore the the right hat, Firehouse. You know, I'm gonna have to cool my mouth off a little bit. What I should have done, and I didn't do. What I should have done was brought out a uh, a beer to cool my my palate down ah. if, if one of these actually gets spicy. But yeah, this one is so. This is from Urban Artisans Brewing. It says it's Epicurean spicy pickle. Yep. Uh, yeah, it. Urban Artifact. Urban Artifact. Urban That's Artifact. We've had them on a few times. Yeah, this out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Cincinnati yep. named after the Greek general Cincinnati. Is fun fact. Wow. Everybody wanted to know that. Yeah, yeah. So Cincinnati. Cincinnati, as Cincinnatus. some would call it. He's the He was the general who, on two different occasions, saved Rome from oblivion and then laid down his power and went back to his farm. That's what George Washington is often called a modern-day Cincinnati. I'll be damned. Giving up power to go home to farm. Yeah. So nothing else we got that out of here. <laughs> So the spicy pickle, I looked this up on Untapped. Yeah. And the description read spicy pickle, spicy pickle about 20 times. It's very descriptive. Very descriptive. Yes. So Whoever wrote that description, nailed cheers it. Cheers to you. Uh oh. Our, <laughs> our umbrellas. It's just got a mind of its own. Oh, this, wow. uh, that's a. <laughs> that's, that's got a cucumber nose on it. I don't get much on the nose. Cucumber, Have you ever. Cucumber is already a really delicate smell, generally speaking. It's got that earthy smell like a cucumber would like when you just pull it out of the garden yeah i would say earthy for sure for sure an earthy smell oh my that is uh that's briny Ooh. <laughs> yeah I, I mean i uh, don't spicy pickle is not an inaccurate descriptor i definitely got a little pepper in the back of my throat yep um i don't even once where do you even start with this it's I don't know. I'm going to move the umbrella while you talk about it a little bit. Fair enough. It's a Goza, or Goes. So that's a German-style sour beer. Typically, the beer uh, is known for having salt in it, uh, mainly because of the water source that they pulled it from in Germany had uh, had salt. So if you ever see a German beer with a goose on it, because I think Goes means goose, right? Or something similar to that? You know, I haven't learned goose yet. Yet more goose? I know duck. What's duck in German? Enta. Ah, yeah, this isn't a duck. Yeah, no, it's not. So normally, if you see that, once again, I always like to give people like some packaging, like things to like. There's there's oftentimes more thought put into a lot of packaging. People realize, you know, yep. like a box will have a ram on it, because, right? Right, box yep. of rams. Yep. Yep. So uh, in the same way, you'll oftentimes see a goza or goose with a uh, goose on. I don't actually know what the technically best way to say that goza goose goes. You know, just say it like every American. Says it, you know, Goza. Goza. Yeah, uh, I'm sure we're wrong. I, I, want to, I want to start calling it a goose, just to just okay, be more sure. Germany. Yeah, why not? But uh, yeah, so it, uh, <laughs> by making it, because uh, like I said, goose beers have typically already have salt in it, so the spicy pickle would have been a natural, I guess, evolution of beer for eventually that to be a uh, goose to be turned into a pickle. I, I guess. It's like the pickle Rick episode of beer. <laughs> <laughs> It's not, it's not terrible. For those that like spicy things and like drinking spicy things, and I'm assuming there's people out there that are like this. I wonder if this would be an interesting compliment to a Bloody Mary. I think so. Yeah. I, I think if you got a non-spicy Bloody Mary and you were drinking this as a chaser, 
do a poor man's bloody with this. My grandpa. Ooh, used well, you could do that's that's called a uh, michelada. Yeah, michelada. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually pretty happy. I just actually, I, I think I think that would make a good michelada because it's not really all that sour. My grandpa always used to pour clamato juice in his coolers. Why didn't call it a poor man's bloody? There you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's grandpa. Yeah. They just call that a red beer where I come from. I'm gonna go ahead and just. You gonna water the lawn with that one? Yeah, it was good and all, but. I don't know if I need that much. It's, uh, you know, we've had worse. I've had worse. I've had significantly worse beers. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It was well made. There's yeah. no, no inherent flaws in the beer. And they hit we've their had, goal. We've had a jalapeno cream ale before. They hit their goal right on the head. What? It's it's not what, it's nothing that they didn't say it was going to be. It, they, they said it was a spicy pickle. And yeah. the description 50 times over, they were right. You know, and there's it's a few a spicy bre- pickle. There's some breweries out there, you know, and you know, there's five thousand breweries in this country, so you really get right. the. Not every brewery needs to be making a Bud Light in the same way that not every brewery needs to be making a big hazy IPA. Right. Right. So you know, you got those breweries out there that are always pushing the bounds of flavors and and like really pushing their technique ability to what what can they produce, what flavors <laughs> can they incorporate that haven't necessarily been incorporated in beer. So it would seem that this Urban Artifacts guys are all about some unique experimental stuff not your german typical german brewery fair right <laughs> well and I, and I would say everything that they're doing they're not, they're not false advertising they're telling you what they're making they're so. just rocking it hard in cincinnati making pickle beers man yeah not many people are <laughs> although i did see uh tin, tin whiskers not. tin whiskers made a pickle beer did they but i i don't believe it was a goza Oh, yeah, I mean, I guess pickle's kind of an untapped potential as far as ingredients. You don't really have to do a goza, just it's a natural. Yeah. But you can make a pickle stout. Why sure. Not? Yeah. I, I think they did like a cream ale or something. Yeah, you know. cream ale also carries flavors right. really well. Right. While also giving you just enough like sweetness and balance yep. to kind of. Right. So, so this is from so O'Fallon. This what is from we? O'Fallon. It's a Mexican hot chocolate pumpkin stout. The nose is fantastic on this one. Now, you know what, do you know what it smells like the nose? Mm. Like pumpkin spice cake. Oh yeah, right on right on point yeah. there. That is on point. You know, O'Fallon's an interesting brewery. They're out of St. Louis, right? I believe Missouri, Missouri. for sure. Missouri? Yeah. Uh, I've had I've had a number of their beers and they make a lot of kind of oddball beers. Maryland Heights. Oh, Figure out where old, that one is. Good old Maryland Heights. Yeah. yeah. I know like one spot in Missouri. I know St. Louis and Kansas City. This one, not spicy. Although mm. a little on the back end. Yeah, there's a little spice on the back end. Real smooth on the beginning. I mean, like super smooth. Mm-hmm. It's almost like a silky, yeah. pumpkin-y chocolate pie at the beginning. Followed by a little heat in the back of the throat. This is not the appropriate beer for this weather. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is very tasty, though. Yeah, it's very good. You know, I'm glad we're doing a pumpkin beer. I, I love pumpkin beers way too much. So it just, uh, just, so do I. Just the fact that it's a pumpkin beer kind of makes me happy. You know, you know, we did uh, the Badger. I'm, I'm going to go off a little, a little tangent just so you're aware. I watched your most recent Badger. The Badger Beer, beer Hour. Yeah, we, we need to think of a nickname for you, but continue. Yeah, they uh, they were giving me hell about liking pumpkin beers so much. <laughs> So yeah, after the sh- after the show, Chris uh, said, "You know, from now on, you should go in and ask every place that you go to for a pumpkin beer, <laughs> and just and just see what their reaction is." Oh yeah. So I think I'm going to start doing that. Yeah, <laughs> that's going to be my new thing. Landing the pumpkin, pumpkin <laughs> landing. <laughs> Sat out there hunting for a good. P- you walk into like a, just a dive bar. You guys got any pumpkin? You guys got any pumpkin beers? <laughs> huh? No. <laughs> well, you you get the you get the hell out. <laughs> We don't like your kind. We don't like your kind here. I, I always said if I went to brewery, there'd be a pumpkin beer on your own. I don't care if we sold none or all of it. I'd drink all of it, man. I'd, I'd con- that'd be, be the first thing that I'd, I'd have when I came in. My shift beer almost daily would be pumpkin. Pumpkin. Yep. Not always with the cinnamon sugar rimmer. I, a couple breweries do that cinnamon sugar rim on that. I don't need it. Yeah, I don't need the you sugar. Know, no, yeah. I just like pumpkin. <laughs> I just like pumpkin. Yeah. That's a delightful beer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I said, O'Fallon makes a lot of oddball beers, and whatever they put on their label is exactly what you're going to get. And that's... Uh, like it's, cho- uh, uh, they had a chocolate cherry beer I had once. It tasted exactly like chocolate-covered cherries. They made a big smoky beer that tasted like a bonfire. Like Yeah. 
Like they they don't mince when it comes to. It's a little caliente, yeah. Little caliente, little yeah, hot, little hot, but not bad. Caliente, pocket. yeah. <laughs> I think it's delightful. Give her a good toss. Yeah, this isn't a like, spicy, spicy beer, but it is a beer with flavor. Right. That I figure would kind of fit the theme. <laughs> the anticipation, huh? I'm fully expecting like a double IPA. Banana bread. Oh crap! You yeah. know what? Now here's the thing. Landon hates bananas. Everybody. You're right. I hate bananas because they're disgusting. Them. I don't hate banana bread. What? Because it's banana bread, and how can you hate bread? <laughs> bread never did anything wrong. Right. <laughs> so, unless there was like big chunks of banana in that bread, which why would you ever do that? I don't hate banana bread. If you can mush them up and somehow form them into a delicious bread. Actually, hold on, Landon. Here's your banana bread. Oh, thank you so much. I got I get my own banana bread. Yeah. So this is, uh, like I said, I didn't quite understand when Landon said spice. I just kind of went with what I found, and this yeah. is what I found. I guess I had a Valkyrie hot <clears throat> chocolate at home that would have some cayenne in it. Yeah. But we've done that before. Yeah, we've done that, and that's almost exactly... I mean, it doesn't taste exactly like the hot chocolate we that we just had. Close but enough. It's it's close close enough that, yeah. We might as well do some banana bread. So this is from Eagle Brewing, which is an English brewery, and um, you know, you know, I should say that pickle beer was four point eight percent alcohol. The old found is like five point five. Yeah. This guy is. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't read. Oh, five point two. Oh. So this has been a pretty light as far as alcohol. Wow, for for us? Yeah. I like the color on this. It's got a nice amber to it. Clear, once again. Oh, my. Damn English people, anyway. They made it taste like a banana. Mm. It doesn't taste like bread at all. <laughs> it's like they mashed up a banana and left all the nasty th- things about a banana in it. And that's what you're tasting. I'm not going to audio. I'm enjoying the shit out of this. Mm. Nope. Landon still hates bananas, everyone. No, sir. I don't like it. (laughs) 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 Oh, you're funny. It's a well-made beer. I will give you that. Mm -hmm. There's, uh, it it tastes, it has a lot of the same flavors that you would get out of an English beer. Um... The real, what do I want to say, biscuity uh, back English, end on it. That English base malt that kind of right. gives you that great, just bready, earthy vibe. Yeah. So yeah. it's got all that. I, I, I equate it to like Ooh. tea. And maybe it's just because they're Brits that they like everything to taste kind of earthy like a tea mm. does. Mm-hmm. Um, this tastes just like that, except with nasty banana. I like my Lowland Scotch, my British beers, and my Iri- or my French wines all the same. Yeah. Earthy as hell. Earthy as hell. Yeah. You know what's actually interesting about this is the strong banana flavor without it being a Hefeweizen. Yeah. You know, usually when a banana beer comes out um, or there's any kind of incorporation of banana in a beer, people would make it a Hefeweizen, a German style, or at least a German style yeast, strictly because it has a lot of banana flavor, that, that yeast in and of itself. Whereas right. These guys made an English beer and then add a banana flavor to it, which I think is, I don't know if I've ever had a beer that tasted like banana that wasn't a Hefeweizen. I think you're right. I don't think I have either. This yeah. might be a first. Yeah. We need to have like some sound it, effects. Or like it, yeah, it, it does taste like they straight up put bananas in it, though. And and I, I'm guessing that they're not going to have anything on, oh, no. Fresh bananas pack a whole bunch of aromas. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They certainly did. Although they call this a malt beverage. So do they call it a malt beverage because they added fruit? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to tell. Uh, there's so many weird beer laws Yeah. that, like, I remember at one point in Texas, anything over, like, 5% alcohol had to be called a malt beverage, even if it wasn't. Like, really? Because like a, like a, a malt beverage is essentially, it is a beer without any hops, and it's just pure malt for alcohol. Okay. And that's what, you know, like a Colt 45 you know, when you're just drinking to get drunk yep. type of alcohol. Um, I mean, that's usually what people associate with malt beverages. And, you know, I remember uh, Oliphant made a seasonal essential harassment for thanks uh, for Valentine's Day. That was yeah. malt, malt liquor. Yeah. It was meant to get you drunk. That's all it's meant to do. <laughs> so, anyways, 
All that being said. It's a fine English beer. The flavor, I probably wouldn't have gone with it. When it's like I would have gone with less banana. Just saying. This beer without the banana. Probably no banana. <laughs> Call it a banana bread beer and don't put any bananas in it. See if anybody cares. I, I, like I said, I keep coming back to it. Just, it's not a Hefeweizen. No, it's it's certainly not I a Hefeweizen. I was 100% prepared yeah. for a Hefeweizen. Yeah. No, it's it's a strict English beer with bananas. Yeah, no. Huh, I'm kind of enjoying that. Though. I don't think any Americans that around here, at least, that we're aware of, yeah, have put any uh, bananas in beer ever. Yeah, I literally can't think of one instance. No. Where they didn't just go with the yeast to get that flavor. No, I've seen people put a literal chocolate cake into the beer. They uh, they had several chocolate cakes that they just dumped into the mash tun. Yeah. Of all I, the crazy stuff, I mean, we literally had a beer that tasted like a spicy pickle. Yeah. But we're a banana in a beer. Oysters. Was this Donkey Kong? Like, right. What are we doing here? Yeah. Weird. <laughs> Weird. And not great. For those of you that love bananas, I, I'm sure you'd love this beer. Yeah. Uh, however, <laughs> I, I don't. <laughs> so that being said. I always pass on bananas. Yeah. You and my child have nothing in common when it comes to bananas. Theo eats like 15 a day. Yuck. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> just even thinking about it. Yuck. <laughs> You're like Ron Swanson trying to eat a banana. <laughs> you just put it between a burger. Just like, I need the potassium. <laughs> and just go. Ah. Yeah, if you ever want to watch Landon eat a banana, just simply get Netflix, look up the episode of Parks and Rec. Where Ron Swanson's eating, eating a banana. Yeah. It's literally uh, pretty much a uh, copy and paste. More or, or less. You, you eating a banana. And and the one where he's got all the, the bacon hidden. <laughs> that's uh it's pretty accurate. That's that's un, yeah. un, that's not inaccurate. No. Know. No. Just you gotta have bacon stock files. And and uh the one where he goes to Scotland <laughs> and sleeps in the distillery. Goes to Lagavulin. Yeah, I would do that too. Yeah, I think we might do a scotch episode here though. Yeah. Yeah, let us know. Uh, I, I think S- he, Troy's already got uh, scotch in got mind. Got some scotch picked out. Got some scotch in mind, but uh, what's your favorite scotch? We, we got a, we got two fun episodes coming down. I think we're going to do a scotch episode, and then I, we got to f- find maybe a perfect time to do the, the Goose Island Get Drunk Fest. Yeah, so <laughs> there were a few of you that, that ended up getting back to us, and thank you for that about the, uh, the, the Goose, Goose. Yeah, the Goose Island, because um, we were – trying to figure out whether it was 2018 or 2017. Yeah. We ended up getting the 2018. The collection is complete. The collection is complete. Um, but thank you for everybody that, that was willing to trade. Yeah, and, we're going to uh, need more help on that one. Though. Yeah, we'll we'll work out a, a, a different trade some other time because I'm sure there'll be another beer that we're looking for. There'll be, a, there'll be holes. There's oh, always holes. There's, there's so many holes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I digress. <laughs> anyway... Yeah, we're gonna we're probably gonna try to do that before it gets uh, snowing out, um, because who knows whether or not it'll be it'll be wise to be inside by then. And oh, uh, that's a good call. and uh, we're that. gonna we're gonna need extra people. Yeah, we're gonna need peeps. We're gonna need bodies. Uh, twenty a twenty a twenty minute episode. You and I will be wiped out if yeah, we go through need, all those. We don't necessarily need people. We just need stomachs. Yeah. That's what yeah, we need. We need drinkers. We need That's drinkers. what we need. Yeah. We need people that can hold a bit of booze. I've been recruiting. <laughs> well, you so, got Jake. Jake, I'm sure could. I think I think you might see the return of Jake. Yeah. I don't think Jay's going to pass up a Goose Island bar- uh, barrel. I don't I don't think so. I I especially if it's free. <laughs> yeah. Especially if it's if, free. If he doesn't have to pay for it, I think you'll be here. <laughs> I think that kind of goes for all of us. <laughs> if you can't tell, DRT, we're cheap. You know, if somebody called me up and said, "Hey, Hey. I, I don't, I don't, hey, I don't actually want you to be on the episode, but could you just be here so that we don't waste this beer? And I would say, yeah. That is literally my dream. You don't even have to tell me what beer it is. I'll just help you. You get there and it's all spicy pickle. <laughs> you know, I'd be a little disappointed, but at the same time, hey, if it was let's, free. Let's crack open some pickles. As long as it's not like bush latte or, you know, natty ice. Bush apple. Bush Apple. I tried one of those at my yeah, sister's how was house that? the other day. We're up in the cabin out in the northern. If you have never been to northern Wisconsin, it's worth a trip. And just like there's a, numerous beautiful lakes up there, like more than you can shake a stick at. And it's also great people watching. Yeah, well, yeah. You, you see a slightly different breed of folk up there. You sure way. do. 
Yeah. So that being said, we're we were on a boat with a bunch of people who were pounding bush bush apples. And I'm like, I'll try one. Yeah. It tasted like apple. And that's it? Yeah. With a with a hint of bush light? Bush light tastes like nothing. Yeah, basically. Yeah, I mean I, I worked for an A B distributor for a spell. So I drank more bush light than I cared to admit to during that time period, mainly at the Christmas parties. Yeah. And it literally tastes like water. So like to hate bush light means you hate water. You know, so it tasted like apple. All right. Yeah, that was, that That's was, uh, Troy's review <laughs> for bush, bush apple. apple. It tastes like apple. We're not going to drink any. No, I won't buy We're any. We're not going to buy any. I will be So if you're, if you're wondering what bush apple tasted like. Apple. There it is. There it is, folks. Right there. Well, in that case. That was a great review. Thank you. Appreciate that. That was an impromptu review. Years, decade plus of beer training. (laughs) Tastes like apple. (laughs) Good old Granny Smith. I like it. You could write an untapped review. uh, It tastes like apple and then just copy it and paste (laughs) it. 50 times. 20 or 30 times. (laughs) Just spicy pickle, spicy pickle, spicy pickle. I'm like, wow. Tastes like apple. Tastes like apple. Yeah. There's a, you know, there's a, there's a YouTuber that's making some pretty good, uh, Pretty good money off of Bush Light. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little jealous of him. Who's what? The You Betcha guy. I don't know who the You Betcha guy is. Oh, you got to look it up. I'm not promoting him. I think he's he's, a, he's another Wisconsin-ish, Iowa. I don't know. I think he's Wisconsin. He does a lot of stuff with Charlie Barron's. Yeah, yeah. That Charlie Barron's likes the Wisconsin theme. Yeah, he's always drinking Miller Light. Uh, yeah. At least it's local. It's true. Yeah. That's Wisconsin jobs. You know, I don't know how I would feel about just drinking the same beer over and over again. I mean, to me, it takes all the fun out of it. It really does. Like, I, I've been multiple times, I've been offered a kegerator, and I've turned them all down. They're like, why don't you want a kegerator? I'm like, I don't want that much of one beer. Yeah. I'm not that, Yeah, I want to move around a little bit here. Right, you know? right. I want to have a banana beer, and then. I don't want a banana beer, but I'll have one. Then maybe you have a stout, an IPA that yeah. you hate. Just all the beers you would dislike. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we digress. That was our mostly spicy episode this week and one of the hottest damn days oh that we've had this summer. So, Why do you do this to me, world? I don't know. I live in the north for a reason. Anyway, we're expecting 70s next week, so it's got to be better. Anyway, make sure, if you haven't already subscribed, you do that. Tell your friends and family about us. One of these weeks, I'm actually going to make that at the front. That way, because I don't think everybody makes it to the end. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. For those of you that make it to the end, make sure you comment. Uh... Make sure you subscribe, like us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that other good stuff. And we've gone on too long this week, folks. So, until next week, bananas and all, we'll see ya. <laughs> Prost. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time. <laughs>